It was a cold October night. Percy was pulling the midnight mail. Ah, what a beautiful night. I hope nothing bad happens. Then all of a sudden... Um, who's there? What was that? I don't know, Percy, but let's finish our work so we can be done. Um, okay. As Percy finished his train, he wasn't the same when he got back to the sheds. What's up with you, Percy? I've seen a scary ghost while doing my job. It looked like an engine, but not. That's like the 12th one of this month. What is happening here? I don't know, but we need to find out why the ghost is here, what class engine is it, and find any records of the engine. It was some sort of E2 tank engine, kind of like you, Thomas. Okay, that part is done, and we need to find out what happened to it. We can ask Sir Topham Hat about it. Good idea, Emily. Let's go. Tomorrow, tomorrow Thomas. Thomas. Okay, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Sir, we need to talk. What is it, Thomas? Can't you see I'm watching the whole Five Nights at Freddy's theory timeline on YouTube? We were wondering if there were any records of past accidents of an E2 tank engine. Well, luckily I was doing some filing out past accidents and found one that hasn't been solved in years. This was the year before my family run this railway. His name was Timothy, a prototype of the E2 class. His accident was that his brakes failed while pulling the Midnight Express filled with people. The driver and fireman were trying to stop the train but failed, then ran off a cliff where the viaduct was being built. He is also a relative of you, Thomas. Thomas, Rosie, and Emily were in shock. Timothy is somehow related to me. I never met him, or even saw him. There is more than meets the eye, Thomas. Why do you ask to know about it anyway? A ghost has started to haunt Sodor and we're figuring out how to stop it. I would be careful about talking to ghosts. Also, quick tip. Try asking why the ghost is haunting the line. Ghosts have a reason why they came to haunt people. And if you don't mind me, I need to continue watching Game Theory. Well, that's all we need to know. Now we need to figure out how to communicate with Timothy. Well, his accident was where the viaduct was being built, so we can check there. Good idea. Now let's wait until midnight so we have a higher chance of seeing him. Later that night, Thomas, Rosie, and Emily were at the viaduct. Alright, we're here. Now we need to wait. Huh? <sighs> What's up, Rosie? It's just what will happen to us if we ever see the ghosts. You know what happened to me. Don't worry, Rosie. We're here for you in case anything happens. Oh. Thanks, Thomas. Are you guys having a flirting conversation here? No, Emily, it's nothing like that, really. Then all of a sudden, they heard an unfamiliar whistle. Okay, here we go. Timothy, you're real. 
Indeed I am. Always fun to see a relative again after so many years. But I never met you or seen you before. All I know is that you're, you are a prototype, you died in an accident, and you murdered a bunch of people on the night of the accident. But why? Ah, you heard about me and my accident. But you have one thing wrong. What do you mean? I've taken many innocent people's lives. All but one. All but one? Does that mean you had an enemy? Tell me. Tell me what happened so I can understand, Timothy. Thomas, what happened to me in the past was tragic event. Here is what happened. As Timothy told them everything what happened, they were all sad about him. So your old controller was a greedy man, didn't know anything, and wanted to scrap you. Yes, and when my brakes failed, it was my chance for me to get back at him. But what it cost was a very big price, and my anger still rose from me to be who I am right now. But Timothy, that ended years ago. Stop remembering what happened in the past and move on. Yes, I should move on. Maybe we can do a family reunion someday. Great to hear about that. Hey, what was the reason for framing me that I attack Rosie? I know everything about E-107 and what he does. I don't want you to suffer the same fate as I did. I was just looking after you. Thank you, Timothy. Well, that's an unforgettable story we've heard in years. At least it's all over. Thomas was right. Timothy stopped haunting the line. Everything was back to normal. Thomas, Aunt Rosie, and Emily told Sir Topham Hatt about what happened in Timothy's time, and he was shocked. He gathered all the records about the old controller and his employees outside, then set them on fire. Thomas, Rosie, and Emily were confused. Sir, why did you do that? Well, since you told me about the first controller, I consider burning every bad thing he did in his files so we don't mention it. Well, all due respect, sir, but what is this accomplishing? Ah, uh, forget about it, Rosie. How about we all go and have some lunch? Good idea. The money is on me.